problem number 12 in acidic buffer the concentration of salt is 100 times that of the acid calculate the ph if ka is 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 here the log value of 1.8 is given that is 0 0.2553 options are 5.1 6.7 7.3 and 7 so what is a buffer a buffer mixture is normally contains a weak acid and its salt or a weak base and its salt. So, the buffer mixture or the buffer solution is one that maintains its pH as a constant even after the addition of a small amount of acid or base. So, the solution or mixture that maintains its pH as a constant is normally referred to as the buffer. There are two types of buffer mixtures, buffer solutions. One is acidic buffer and the other one is basic buffer. In acidic buffer, a weak acid and its salts, for example, that ethanoic acid, that is acidic acid and sodium acetate. In a basic buffer, what is called a weak base and its salt, ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. And this, that is an example of basic buffer. So, acidic buffer, basic buffer, both maintain uh, their pH as constant if I add a little amount of acid or base. And the pH of this buffer mixtures is calculated by using a very famous equation that is Henderson equation. By using Henderson equation, we can calculate the pH. So, the problem is solved by using Henderson equation. It is like this. So, pH is equal to pKa plus log based on logarithm. So, active mass of salt, concentration of salt divided by concentration of the acid. So, in the problem it is given K A. So, K A is equal to 1.8 into 10 power minus 5. Therefore, P K A must be found out first. You have, you have to take the negative logarithm to the base 10 of 1.8 into 10 power minus 5. So, log value 1.8 is given and if you calculate you get the value that is P K A is equal to 4.7447 that is 5.0000 minus 0 0.2553. So, 4.7447 is the pKa value. Now, we can substitute here. Now, log salt by acid, the concentration of salt is 100 times the concentration of acid. Therefore, here log 100 will come. Log 100 is 10 power 2. So, that is the value 2. So, pKa value already 4.7447. Now, we have pH is equal to 4.7447 plus here the whole thing will give 2. So, now we have the value 6.7447. So, that can be taken as 6.7 and here the option B, option B is 6.6.7. So, by using Henderson equation, we can calculate the pH. And similarly, we can calculate the pH of basic buffers also. At that time, we have to go for pKb. pKb is the negative logarithm of Kb value. So, just like the Ka, from Ka what we have calculated, from the Kb value, we can calculate pKb and substitute in Henderson equation, we can calculate. Therefore, by using Henderson equation, very easily we can calculate the pH of buffers.